Morning all. This is Toon Track Superior Drummer 3, which I've had for about 24 hours, if that, and I've immediately declared it my favourite thing that's ever been made of anything. It's I, I hated Superior Drummer 2. Um, I just loathed it. it. The sounds were all well and good, but the software was so clunky, it just made me miserable. I'd rather go to the dentist than uh, play around with Superior Drummer 2. And so the change, I can't begin to say how great the change is. And what I'm going to do is just quickly give you an overview of the whole thing, just give you a feel of the different kits, um, show you the grooves and how that works. If you're new to, uh, if you don't have Easy Drummer 2, this will all be new to you. And then spend a little more time in the mixer section because that's where I think the real fun is here, actually. Um, not just because you're playing with effects. I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I go on to it. Uh, so let's just quickly get going. First groove at the top there. This will just give you an idea of the default kits, um, of which there are seven. And there are other videos out there that will go into much more detail here. All I'm doing is giving you a broad overview. And I know a lot of people heard this and kind of went, oh, you know, sounds like drums, not much to get excited about. But, and they do sound perfectly nice, don't they? But you can, it's what you can so quickly and easily turn this into that I find just tremendous. But this, I'm, sure, I'm giving you sort of the raw kick snare hats feel of these kits. And like I say, if you want to hear more detail, um, then you can uh, find other videos for, for, for that. Right, let's stop me groove. Shut up. Okay. And I'll just give you a... You'll see here what I've got on the right here um, is I'm showing the mapping of things. So if I click the snare, and we'll see all the different snare hits here. That's the set hitting the center. You see that flashing here? Now it says roughs, it's a lie. And that's because a couple of these articulations aren't loaded by default. Um, and that will now be a rough. Hitting the D1 and a, that's hitting the rim shot um, at the side, which is a really nice aggressive kind of hit. Uh, what am I doing? AO. That's the edge. Um, and so on and so forth. There's, if I scroll up, there's a few more, aren't there? There's around F sharp three. Yeah, those aren't real. They're not. Those swirls aren't recorded in this. Flams. Just hitting the rim. There you go. And I'll just give you a bit of the idea of the dynamics on the centre. Um, and you also see here, I've also got this checked. Uh, it's randomizing hits using adjacent layers. That means stealing samples uh, that might um, be at a slightly different velocity to avoid this machine gun effect so it sounds more realistic. Oh, I'm not going to go into any more detail on that kind of thing here and now um, because I say there's others that will be covering that a lot more, I'm sure. The groove section um here we go is all i've got i should show you i i'm not showing off but this is just what i've amassed over the years these are from superior drummer 2 um like i say i didn't even install this when i put windows 10 on the machine because i hated the software so much but the libraries are nice enough and in fact as i'll show you they just explode in, in superior drummer 3 and all these easy x libraries so that's why there's loads of grooves here um Let's have a look. So, uh, so I want to go easy drummer three, and I just want a straight four four mid tempo, um, bouncy eights chorus. All these are played by real drummers. That's the big deal for me. It's kind of just got the subtle timing inflections uh, that I am simply incapable of. Um, I'll clear all that because this is a much better way of doing it. I'm going to click a simple groove on tap to find that I want to find. Oh, 
dear, oh dear, oh dear, come on. What do you got? So it's found with 91% accuracy. Hey, I was playing a bossa nova. Hey, that's the kind of thing I didn't mind. Um, let's say I like that. Let's drag this down here to the arranger. Stop this, stop that. And let's get a, uh, a simple loop going. Uh, and, oops, play. And having got that groove, I'll go, actually, I'll rent the ride symbol there. Do you mind? Or you can put it on a symbol or the... And maybe I want an opening hit on it, on that groove. And I actually want it on that hit. So it's very easy to play around with it. And you can add, go into the grid editor. Or take them off. <laughs> there you go. So hopefully it's giving you a little idea of how stormingly clever this thing is at manipulating grooves finding you can play like i did anything that feels roughly in the right feel and then it will find stuff played by real drummers oh and there's more tricks aren't there if i go uh how do i do this song part no use with song creator that was it boom it's taken that and now created out of that one loop gazillions of variations and look that was just two bars it's created these it's really good actually that's really good um thousands of variations in in the pre-chorus now Nice, going onto the bell, the bridge, and you know you you actually want to get rid of that now. Um, <clears throat> uh, cut or delete whatever we want to do. You can just then pile them up. There's your verse. There's your pre-chorus, and so on and so forth. And that's how you can build a complete song. You then export all that back into the door. I'm running this in standalone. Um, and, uh, yeah. Just fantastic. And there was nothing like that. In fact, there was there was no groove section in Superior Drummer 2. And this is essentially very, very similar to Easy Drummer 3. But it's very clever stuff. Good, though. All that is, I don't want to uh, use any of it. Um, get rid of that. Clear all filters. Just go back to our standard standard loop for this next bit now the mixer the mixer ha oh, the mixer um the the package arrives with five different big sections and you can download whatever you need you have to download the first one which is the core library and then you've got rooms you've got additional bleed you've got surround and height surround now just to explain what all that is, the bleeds are when you get, you hear a bit of the kick in the snare mic. That's the bleed. The real fun I have decided in all of this is um, it happens in the, uh, the ambient mics, of which I'm not seeing very many here at the moment. So why am I not seeing more than that? Bleed from instruments, yeah. 
I'm seeing all... No, I'm not seeing all the channels. There you go. I'd forgotten uh, that uh, you've had edit visibility and some of the channels are hidden by default. So I don't want to hide these anymore. I do want to hide surround. Now, I'm only working in stereo. You will, you can still use the surround mics in stereo and they will give you different sounds. That's great. But I want to show you just what you have using just the core pack and the room pack. So that's 80 gigabytes worth. That's installed on my system and I'm not going to use anything else. So I'll unhide those. I will hide those because this is surround and I'm not using it. You can route things to buses as they've done here, uh, which is quite sweet. And then you can route to anywhere you need to go internally or externally for anything so that's fine that's not really what I want to show you let's get that groove going again and get on with it okay so let's take down all the ambient stuff so this is just what we've got here using the close mics That's the overheads, normal overhead. You've got a, and a dynamic mic and a condenser mic. If I fade it up, nothing happens. The reason for that is that nothing is rooted to it. You see this bleed from instruments? The bleed is now there from the kick and the snare, so I'll put it up and you can just have what you want to go in there. If you prefer the sound of the condenser, You'll hear there what you definitely want. You know what, I'm going to put them all on. Give you a better idea. That's the one thing I wish they just have a select all. Saves a little bit of fat. So that's that. It's a little bit smoother, isn't it, the condenser, which you may or may not want. Now, ambience room. Ambience ribbon, rather. Hello. That's quite good. It's a big room, that, isn't it? So maybe you want to shorten that a little. Hear that? If you want a nice big sound, but not in something quite so cavernous, or alternatively, more cavernous. And now let's go on to ambience near. We'll root that there. Or the sound, what's the sound of this? Nice. Just gonna go on to the drums now and swap out this snare. Here's the snares in Superior Drummer 3. Um, like that. I'm also going to swap out the kick. You can just cycle through. sub doing just so of that let's say we wanted to just EQ I don't want the click part of that at all in this uh, I just want the low part of that 
but what I don't want is really, really, really low. So I'll change that to 48 dB an octave. Stuff below 40 will just shatter your speakers. So, okay, so I'll use that as my, uh, my sub part. Yeah, groove stopped. You're all shouting at me. You've got your solo on. It's even on S there, tell me. Right. That's got a nice crack to it, that snare. I like that. What's the... Uh... Let's say that's not cracky enough for me. So I could put in transient here. Add the attack. That's not much, say. That's got a really nice crack to it now. Let's go nuts. Let's, so you want something that sounds really huge. So I'll use that one or... No, nah, not that one. Quite like that. Maybe I just want the snare. So this is what I love. You can really cheat. You can you can have this huge room sound, but if I like put the cymbals in here and everything else, a bit of kick, but like that just messes it up, doesn't it? Just starting to sound, and you might want something that messy, but if you want more control, you can. So I'll get rid of all those symbols, and what I'm going to do is go back to the 80s next. Frequency gate. So that's not using any reverb at all, but essentially I've now got complete control there of a gated reverb snare, but not an extreme gate. Likewise here, you know, that kick sort of... I like a kick that really is solid in the middle, I don't want too much of that nonsense going on. Let's use that one instead. A different groove, please. And you see, that really didn't take very long. And I swap out a couple of kit parts, muck around with those ambient mics. Those are all in just the room and the main mics, 80 gigabytes. And there's loads of control there. There's loads of different tone, room tone. You can make the room bigger or smaller. Um, and that was so quick to do. And I see I haven't actually played them this morning, but um, I just played a few yesterday. That reminded me a bit of Love Shack. There you go. It's, again, minutes it took me to make these. Snappy sounds very similar, I seem to remember. Just a bit more open. sound and from some of the other libraries um, this is from the Superior Drummer 2 library <sighs> play that uh, what do I do listen to that Great power station And I think I did one in this as well. And it was just fun going, swapping out kit parts, mucking around, <laughs> mucking around with the um, ambient mics and that, and just finding it was so quick to get this, um, to get these kind of fun stuff. Anyway, 
I hope that gives you a rough idea. Look at that, I've done it in 20 minutes. I thought I might take 30. Well, that's enough. You get you get the idea. I haven't even touched actually on Drum Tracker because I'm probably not going to use it very much myself, but it looks incredibly clever. You put in a real drum loop and it converts it to MIDI and, you know, great. But um, for my own stuff, I'm rarely, very rarely working with real drums. So I haven't even delved into that yet. But I hope that gives you a good idea of the kind of the kind of variety that you've got here. Um, one thing I did forget to show you, which I'm going to do now. Um, let's just play. See how dull that sounds by comparison with some of the stuff I've been playing with. But if you want a natural sound, and let's face it, a lot of people do, and I need to sometimes, then of course, you can't make it more natural. <laughs> you can only hype these things up. I didn't mean to show you. Snare. So... Those are all the different snares that come with Superior Drummer 3. But I've got all these other expansions. What do I do there? Well, search for instrument. And it's showing me all the snare and sticks that I have. And it's ridiculous. Some of them are electronic, like those. You can say, I just want it actually from Easy Drummer Modern. And replace. And that's how you find other stuff. You can stack them up. I haven't shown you that. You can add several snares. Let me just... Um, I'm going to show you one other thing. Um, more root instrument microphones now this is lovely actually that if but what this is what's come with easy drummer it's got an overhead and an ambience and uh an ambience mono mic come with that uh, oops let's get the grooves back let's get the grooves on again. so if i go into the mixer lo and behold the overheads are coming out of there and the ambient ribbons coming out of there but if, if, stop, if I go, actually, I want separate control of that, all I have to do is route that to create new channel, X ambience. And so now, when I play again, look over here. That's now coming out of there. So all the other instruments that are recorded in one room are coming out of here. And the others are coming out of there. I might want to make it longer. Um, yeah, so the mixing and matching, like I say, you can then stack these up. You can have three snare drums on top of each other. Um, and it's all very easy to do. But I've got so many snares anyway. I just think, well... I mean, I, I probably will at some point. You can add an instrument, uh, a future hit instrument, so a shaker. Future hit means that there's a little bit before the impact. It's not sci-fi. Um, or add a second snare, add instrument. So um, you can so you can build up more kit parts if you need to. This particular kit that switched off, I can switch it on. So you can add, you know, there's. I'm just showing you the, the briefest kind of overview, but hopefully showing you a little bit how versatile that mixer is. And do you know it's actually with a mixer? Okay, I'm, I used a couple of effects, didn't I? But there's loads more effects. There's EQ, there's dynamics, there's distortion, reverb, um, delays, modulations, uh, and that includes tape simulators. And But you see... that. Doing that, what I just showed you, would probably have taken me a week in Superior Drummer 2, and I'd have been very cross. And here you just you just muck around as you go, and it's a joy. Right, okay, that's it. That's quite enough. I'm now oh, 25 minutes. Let's fill a little bit more time. Um, thank you very much for, uh, for bearing with me. And I'll just finish by doing, I did this once before, just a, a tiny plug for a forum that I help run, uh, which is called thesoundboard.net. 
And that's we set this up because a, a number of us were bored rigid of music forums that were plastered with advertising that developers would get would start to control things or was perceived to control things. And we didn't want any of that. We just wanted a place where we could talk about music. And it's it's pretty low key in a good way, I hope. Everyone's very civil. Um, and if that sounds like actually that's you know that sounds like something I'm interested in, then do go. Of course, it's free to register. Most of the forum is only seen um, by registering. You don't see all of it. You just see a tiny bit if you're not registered. But do come along uh, and sign up and join in the fun if you like the sound of that kind of place. All right. Uh, thanks very much, everyone. And I'll see you on another one soon. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.